Welcome back to episode 9 of our New York to Florida Intracoastal Waterway Trip. In this episode, we travel Chesapeake Bay from Solomon's Island down to Norfolk, Virginia, not before driving into a really bad storm. We've been pretty lucky all day on the Chesapeake, but now it looks like we're heading into a storm. Saw some lightning bolts out there in the distance. Just coming up on Norfolk right now. We only have another couple hours to go before we're at our anchorage or dock. Not sure where we're going yet. Oh, there was some lightning again. We've got quite the storm now we're driving into. Just on the tail end of it, thankfully, because we got lightning out there. But the sun over there. All right, now we're in, we're in a pickle now. Can't turn around. Gotta forge forward, get the hell out of this. Wind's really picked up. We are right as long as our top stays on. Bunch of white caps now. Looks like we survived the storm. What do you think, Brian? I think we made it. Yeah. Yeah. You were you were you nervous? No, I get no. nervous if you get nervous. Then okay. I get nervous. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't get nervous. I was just hoping my top wouldn't blow off. It'd be nice if we could see the sights like that aircraft carrier out there. We'll see if it clears up a little more. Well, we were hoping to enjoy our entrance into this milestone. Uh, destination yeah. <laughs> at, in Norfolk but uh, we got hit with a pretty bad storm so uh, yeah. maybe we'll get to enjoy a little bit of it here it's gloomy skies, everything's wet and um, we, can but, destroy us. we can see some of the warships so that's good we didn't sink, we didn't lose the top nothing happened with the motor we didn't pick up a uh, fish trap Red pot. We did miss a hard hat though. Yes, we did see a hard hat. There's no head in it, as I, best I can tell. I hope, uh, yeah, I hope whoever lost that hard hat is doing okay. But uh, it got pretty sporty out here. It's a good turn. Yes, sporty. Much nicer ride now. Out 
that's a dry dock. All right, so we're gonna be heading over here into the Cove the Municipal Free Dock right here in the downtown area. Hopefully there's room for us. We just heard the, the horn, the ferry goes in and out of this municipal marina, so he gives a warning before he pulls out. So that's good that he's gonna be gone, so we could uh, pull in there without him there. Back. That's not the ferry. There it is. A little narrow opening, but it opens up once you're in there. All right, it looks like there's another sailboat in there, but there should be room for us. Starboard tie. We should be all right. What is this all about? They used to. Well, we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see what the rules are around here. Okay, so uh, apparently that sign was for that one little dock in the beginning in the, uh, at the entrance. Uh, this says, welcome boaters, please limit mooring at this location to 36 hours or less, blah, blah, blah. So we're in good shape. All right, we're here for the night. Awesome. We got the Naval Shipyard Museum right there. Nice little park, downtown. Looks awfully quiet here. Oh, and there is the, the ferry here. I guess that was a ferry. It pulls into a couple different places. Nice view of a uh, aircraft carrier in, in the back. All right, we are docked and safe here in, uh, where is this, Portsmouth? Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Portsmouth? Portsmouth. Ports, Ports Mouth. We're at Ports <laughs> Mouth, says Brian. Okay, well, uh, let's go over quick our stats for today. We were underway for 12 hours and 25, uh, 12 hours and 15 minutes. Uh, we used 97 gallons of gas. We traveled 110 miles. Average speed, 8.98, so nine miles an hour average speed. That's when we picked it up to avoid that storm. Average miles per gallon, 1.13, which is very good. That's almost, that's not our best, but pretty good. So, um, all right, there we are. Um, we are good for tomorrow. We need to get out of here at uh, 6.30 about to make the first lock opening over on the Great Dismal Swamp, which is only about, what'd I say? Two hours away? Yeah. Two hours, two hours away at our slow speed so uh we'll be at it again tomorrow but it's a shorter day i think it's only 44 miles but we go through two locks and the dismal swamp is relatively slow we're held up a little bit there with the locks so uh, that's gonna take pretty much all day and then we are at elizabeth city and we are officially now on the intracoastal waterway the official intracoastal waterway it starts in norfolk virginia even though there's an intracoastal in new jersey and we were all over the place but there we go. All right. right. That's it. Anything? Any Just excitement? One storm in. Two storms in. One more to go. There we go. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. We're supposed to get another storm in here, but we'll tie her up, and we should be good here against the dock. Yeah. It's good if storm. anything happens, you know, I'll get it on video. <laughs>tide this dock is underwater and we're close to high tide we'll be standing in water shortly yeah.
minutes or more. 15 minutes? Yeah, look, look, I pulled some. Yep. We're almost, the boat's almost higher than the dock. Awesome. So Brian has informed us that number one aircraft carrier is the USS Wasp. Over there getting worked on, grains on it, and it's not in dry dock, it's floating, but it's definitely getting refurbished somehow. Really interesting place to sit. This is a great spot. I highly recommend this as a stopover. Our dock is flooding and high tide. You need to walk through water to get off your boat. It's pretty weird.